Thank you. I now call to the podium uh, Mr. Dakiri, Minister of Manpower of Indonesia, who will be followed by Mr. Ramal of Nepal. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, Madam President, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure for me to speak at this conference. This is my first time to address this important conference since I was appointed as the Minister of Manpower in October last year. I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate the Director General for bringing up the ILO Centenary Initiative that help us to achieve social justice for all. I assure that Indonesia will continue to support on this effort. We also support the establishment of the high-level commission on the future work to examine the output of the conversations. These high-level commissions should be proportionally balanced and comprised of prominent authorities in the world of work. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to highlight some of the issues which remain relevant to the future of work. Firstly, one of the core issues in the world of work is definitely the creation of jobs. This is true in the past and it is still relevant today and it remains to pose a challenge to us in the future. Appropriate policies and international cooperation are needed to tackle this and comprehensive study and research are essential to support well-designed policies. It requires not only hard work of the government, but also contributions from social partners. Secondly, we recognize that one aspect of job creation that needs to be in our priority is youth employment. Given the fact that youth employment stands at a much higher level than the average unemployment rate for the general population, this issue should be high on our agenda. Efforts should comprise of the role of government in all levels, as well as the role of business sectors. Improving and adjusting the skill of the youth workforce and building their capacity will help them to adjust the advanced technology and to enter the competitive labor market. Thirdly, labor migration will be another important element of the future of work in the globalization era. However, problems often occur in the form of unfair treatment and abuse. Therefore, strong commitment of all involved in, I repeat it, therefore strong commitment of all involved is needed to realize in the fair migration. ILO has and should continue in the next century to help ILO constituents in dealing with labor migration challenges and to achieve fairer and safer migration. Fourthly, decent work for all will continue to be important in the future. ILO and its constituents have been working toward the promotion of decent work for all and to continue working to ensure the decent work in addition to providing employment to meet the basic human need and to eliminate poverty. Madam President, this year's conference will also discuss on the issue of informal economy, which become part of many workers in many countries, particularly in developing countries. There are currently around 70 million of Indonesian workers are employed in informal economy. Effort to address the issue of improving the well-being of workers and the sustainability of enterprises through a process of transition from informal economy to formal economy is relevant and important. Transition to formal economy is one of the ways to, to avoid situations of an employment with decent work deficit and it cannot be separated from the importance of employment policy formulation which aims to boost job creation including good quality job particularly youth employment and strengthen effort to promote decent work for all. We support ILO's constituent effort to facilitate transition from informal economy to formal economy through a proposed recommendation which is expected to be adopted. However, facilitation of transition to formal economy requires gradual processes and should recognize the broad diversity of the informal economy and of different national circumstances. Madam President, 
We are of the view that labor inspection and social dialogue is also crucial in enforcing labor norms and standards, as well as the implementation of labor-related regulations. The government of Indonesia has initiated various regulations, policies, and programs related to compliance to labor employment laws and practices, reducing barriers and de gender inequalities, as well as persons with disabilities in employment, empowerment and protection for Indonesian migrant workers, promoting entrepreneurship programs, and the implementation of occupational safety and health in the workplace in an integrated manner. Furthermore, Indonesia has adopted ILO's decent work agenda, which is reflected through the National Medium, Medium Term Development Plan 2014-2019 in order to increase living standards of our society. Finally, Madam President, my government stands ready to engage and contribute in the discussions on the future of work centenary initiative and on the discussions on various agendas in this year's ILC committees. I thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.